Hello friends, welcome back to the lecture series on high voltage engineering. This is the last topic of this particular chapter of this high voltage engineering. That is a spark gap for measurement of high DC, AC and impulse voltage. Impulse voltage is also called as a peak values. So a spark gap can be used for the measurement of these high DC, AC and impulse values of the voltages. So this is the last topic of this particular chapter that is measurement of the high voltages. So let us start, let us begin with the discussion. A uniform field spark gap will always have a spark over voltage. So if it is a uniform, then that can always have a spark over voltage within a known tolerance under the constant atmospheric conditions. Under the atmospheric conditions. These atmospheric conditions are very, very important. And that is also noted in the consecutive lines. You can see that. So hence a spark gap can be used for the measurement of peak value of the voltage. If the gap distance is known. If the gap distance is known. Let us consider a simple example. A spark over voltage of 30 kilovolt peak at 1 centimeter spacing. It means the value of the electric field is 30 kilovolt per centimeter. That is what the value of the electric field as electric field is voltage upon distance. So 30 kilovolt per centimeter with the electric field and therefore the spark over voltage which is as per standard mentioned as 30 kilovolt for a gap of 1 centimeter but at a atmospheric conditions of 20 degrees Celsius centimeter uh, 20 degrees Celsius temperature and 760 torr pressure that occurs for a sphere gap or any uniform field gap. What is mean by a uniform field gap? If I just consider uh, this kind of disks which are placed and separated by a certain distance. Let us consider that distance between the two is of one centimeter. The application of voltage to these gap to these plates is 30 kilovolt per one centimeter gap. Then there is a spark over voltage well, which will appear. Means there will be a spark between the gap of the electrodes. So these electrodes is having a uniform field gap. These electrodes are having uniform field gap. And this is uniform because the cross-sectional area or we can say the volume of this particular sphere or the uh, electrodes is same. Throughout this, the volume or cross-sectional area of both the electrodes is same and therefore it is referred as what? The uniform field gap. But experience has shown that these measurements are reliable only for certain gap configurations. Normally, only sphere gaps are used for the voltage measurements. In certain cases, uniform field gaps and rod gaps are also used, but their accuracy is less. The spark gap breakdown, the spark gap breakdown. So breakdown, which we already discussed in the first chapter, that is also, that is, the used here as a breakdown. So spark gap breakdown when that particular gap get breakdown and a spark is formed that is called a spark bre gap breakdown. So the spark gap breakdown especially the sphere gap breakdown is independent of the voltage waveform and hence is highly suitable for all types of waveforms from DC to impulse voltages of short rise times 
that rise time is 0.5 millisecond that rise time is sorry 0.5 microsecond 0 0.5 0 0.5 microsecond this must be 0 0.5 microsecond so as such spear gaps can be used for a radio frequency ac voltage peak of measurements that is also up to 1 megahertz that is also up to 1 megahertz okay so this is what just an introduction to this particular spark gap that can be used for the measurement of dc ac and impulse let us start with the first arrangement called as spear gap measurement what this spear gap measurement says this gap can be arranged now we are using spears we are using spears for the measurement of these voltages that can be arranged vertically vertical means this kind vertical axis means y axis and horizontally means x axis means x axis so vertically with lower spear grounded where we have lower spear and upper spear so that lower sphere is grounded that is connected to earth and horizontally with both the spheres connected to the source voltage or one sphere grounded so one of the sphere is again grounded in horizontal configuration means in latter configuration second configuration it is generally arranged such that both the spheres are symmetrically at high voltage above the ground that ground clearance is also important the two spheres used are identical in size and shape both the spheres which we are using that must be identical both the spheres should be mirror image both the spheres should look like same and therefore the size and shape of both the spheres should be same the schematic arrangement is already shown here we are going to use two figures a and b for horizontal sorry for vertical that is figure a and horizontal that is figure b the voltage to be measured is applied between the two spheres and the distance or spacing the distance or spacing that is denoted by s that is denoted by s between them gives a measure of spark over voltage a series of resistance is generally connected between the source and the spear gap the purpose of that is to limit the breakdown current because definitely current will occur so to limit that breakdown current that resistance is used as well as to suppress the unwanted oscillations and resistance is the best electrical element that can suppress the oscillations in the source voltage when breakdown occurs and that is in case of the impulse voltages the value of the series resistance that may vary from 100 ohms to 1000 kilo ohms for ac or dc voltages and not more than 500 ohms in case of impulse voltages because in case of impulse voltage that voltage is only for small period but having a they may, that may have the oscillations so that 500 ohms resistance is more than sufficient to have that separation in case of ac peak value and dc voltage measurement the applied voltage is uniformly increased until spark over occurs occurs in the gap generally a mean of about five breakdown values is taken when they agree to within plus minus three percent in case of the impulse voltage to above or to obtain 50 percent of flash over voltage two voltage limits differing by not more than two percent are set such that an application or on application of lower limit value either or two or four flash overs takes place and on application of upper limit value eight or six flash overs takes place respectively the mean of these two limits is taken as 50 percent flash over voltage 
in any case a preliminary spark voltage measurement is to be made before before actual measurements are made so hopefully you have understood this concept of the spear gap which we are going to consider in next slide as a diagram so you can see the diagrams you can refer these diagrams what this particular diagram says here there is a horizontal arrangement here there is figure a and figure b figure b figure a is vertical arrangement and figure b is horizontal arrangement figure a says as vertical where this particular spear this is spear it is connected and motorized controlled it has a motorized control and the upper spear is connected or hold or uh, connected to the uh, ceiling of the uh, lab laboratory so we have uh, five important points or rather four important points the first is insulator support first is insulator support so that insulator support is given right so insulator support the purpose is only to insulate the ceiling or in, is to insulate that upper part of the spear that is what the insulator support there then second second is this one second is the spark shank that is spear shank third is now we have third point this one that is operating gear with the motor arrangement and that is for changing the gap distance that is for changing the gap distance so with the help of this motorized control the gap between the two electrodes this is say electrode and the another electrode that is spears that gap can be maintained and how that gap is uh, Uh, how this gap is indicated that is indicated by s that gap that spacing is indicated by s so here that spacing s is present then we have number 4 and that number 4 is called as high voltage connection so high voltage connection is given to this particular point and this particular electrode is grounded or motorized having a motorized control and definitely this particular point of the motor side electrode or spear is connected to ground now we have p be the sparking point we have p be the sparking point d be the diameter of spear this d be the diameter of spear so this is what the diameter and the diameter of this particular spear and this diameter of the upper spear is same then s be the spacing s be the spacing then x or we can say a a b d height so we have a capital a that a be the height capital a be the height of p above earth capital a be the height above of p above earth so from ground clearance we have that a as height b be the radius so we can see that this b be the radius of the clearance from external structure external structure then x so x is high voltage lead x is high voltage lead that should not pass through this plane within a distance of b from p that is within a distance from b to p okay so all these are the points which are to be mentioned the same are repeated in the horizontal arrangement you can see this is one again that one is insulator support number 2 that is called as a spear shank then three this one this is three b the operating gear and motor for changing the gap distance so this can be adjusted it may be a motorized control or maybe the without motor so automatic or uh, uh, manual 
फोर बी द हाई वोल्टेज टर्मिनल फोर बी द हाई वोल्टेज टर्मिनल नाउ अगेन वी हैव दैट पी सो यू कैन सी दैट पी देन यू कैन सी दैट ए राइट यू कैन सी ए देन एस एस बी द स्पेसिंग पी बी द स्पार्किंग पॉइंट एस ए बी द हाइट ऑफ पी अब द अब दर्थ B be the radius. This B be the radius, and X, X be the high voltage application. Means high voltage lead should not pass through this plane within a distance B from P. Okay, so this is what your X is. Hopefully, you all are clear with the uh, constructional details. These details are very very simple. You just have to place two spheres. That's all. one sphere must be connected to high voltage another sphere must be connected to ground in vertical arrangement it is connected through the motorized control and the purpose of motor is to adjust the gap between the upper sphere and the lower sphere so let us understand the next part related to this that is called a sphere construction that sphere construction and its assembly and its assembly so let us start with this Spear gaps are made with two metal spears of identical diameters D, with their shanks. So the purpose of that shank is to hold it, operating gear, and the insulator support. Operating gear is to operate the uh, assembly, is to change the distance, and insulator support is to insulate that high voltage from the other uh, formation like flash over. With the spear and the other arrangements, that flash or whatever the flash or is forming, it must be between two spears. So that is shown in the figures which I have already indicated. That is figure A and figure B. The spears are made generally of copper, brass, aluminium. The latter means the latter means this one is used due to low cost. It is used. due to low cost okay now the standard diameters the standard diameters for the spear are 2 5 6.25 10 12.5 15 25 50 75 100 and 150 and last be the 200 the unit is in centimeter it is in centimeter the spacing is so designed that spacing is so designed and chosen such that the flash over occurs near the sparking point p that can occur at sparking point p that point p is mentioned in the diagram that point p here you can see that point p is mentioned in the diagram so over here we find the spark formation the spears are carefully designed and fabricated so that their surfaces are smooth and curvature is uniform that curvature means the curves those curves are uniform that curves are uniform okay now the radius of curvature measured with the spiro uh, spirometer spirometer at various points over area enclosed by a circle of say 0.3 d around the sparking point should not differ by more than plus minus 2% of the nominal value that is what the values which are mentioned that can be uh, used for the correct measurement of high voltage and it should be used and this is as per standards okay now the surface of the sphere should be free from dust grease or any other coating there should not be any coating external coating must be used so it must be free from dust grease and coating the surface should be maintained clean but need not be polished this is very very important if excessive pitting occurs due to repeated spark overs they should be smoothed right then the high voltage conductor should be arranged such that it doesn't affect the field configuration the series resistance as we already said a resistance is used right to limit the high current and the oscillations right so series resistance connected should be outside the shank it should not be there at a distance twice d at a distance twice d means d be the diameter of the sphere d be the be the diameter of the sphere 
and above that twice d and it should away twice d from the high voltage sphere or the sparking point p or the sparking point p so this is what the sphere gap construction and assembly sphere gap construction and assembly okay then second part is rod gap like a spear gap we have a rod gap this these are the rods these are the rods one rod is placed on the ground earth grounded and another rod is definitely hold by some assembly there is a gap between the two there is a gap between the two okay so a rod gap is also sometimes used for approximate measurement of peak values of power frequency voltage and impulse voltage that is power frequency means 50 hertz voltages and this is impulse means higher frequency uh, voltages i triply recognize that this method gives an accuracy within plus minus 8% the rods will be either square aged square aged or circular so here we have shown as circular here we have shown as circular you can see circular okay in cross section the length of the rods may be 15 to 75 cm and the spacing varies from 2 to 200 cm 2 to 200 cm the spark over voltage as in other gaps is affected by humidity and air density now the working of this particular case is very simple the working of this particular rod gap or the sphere gap may be vertical or horizontal is same that is application of that is application of high voltage on one of the electrode gives the formation of electric field between between the two electrodes between the two electrodes those electrodes may be a sphere, sphere gap or rod gap this electric field formation due to increase in high voltage the current density increases due to increasing current with the given cross sectional area now as the distance s is maintained in centimeter such a that such a that that current density would be high higher the current density will increase the temperature between the gap of the electrodes increase in temperature between the gap of the electrodes with high electric field which is voltage per distance as distance is may be decreasing with high voltage application will have high electric field with increase in temperature gives us the breakdown of the air insulating gap because for some time that air can act as the insulation but after application of the high voltage the electric field the current density and the temperature will not keep that air as insulating medium whereas it can convert that air as conducting medium and as that air becomes conducting medium the breakdown of air insulating medium takes place so breakdown of air will give the post breakdown phenomenon in the form of spark and this spark will occur at a voltage called as spark over voltage so this spark and spark over voltage for a distance s so we can say that the breakdown voltage divided by the distance gives us the electric field or that decides the breakdown strength of that particular material and that can be measured by the unit by the unit called as the spear gap or rod gap hopefully you all are clear with this concept now whatever the breakdown voltage which we are getting that we is being measured by the unit called as or the meter called as volt meter and that volt meter is always placed with the control panel that control panel which is placed so that control panel can have a volt meter arrangement and that volt meter can do the measurement of the voltage so whenever we do have a spark between the gap whenever we do have a spark between the gap that spark decides basically the breakdown voltage of the unit for a particular given distance 
So here that distance may be 1000 centimeter or 2 to 200 centimeter for rod gap and that particular distance can be represented as S. So this is what the introduction to this particular sphere gap and rod gap arrangement. Hope you understood. Hope you understood the hope you understood the concept of this particular sphere gap for the measurement of high DC voltage, high AC voltage, and impulse voltage. See, this particular arrangement is used. The same arrangement can be used for the measurement of all the three voltages. Why? Right? Because you just have to apply all the three voltages at that particular point. So DC voltage through some DC arrangement, AC voltage through AC arrangement and impulse voltage where you can apply that AC voltage with some arrangement having that impulse voltage availability. And generation of that impulse voltage which we already seen in previous chapter. So the methods which we have understood in the previous chapter, chapter that is generation of AC high voltage, DC high voltage and impulse voltage that can be given to uh, this particular arrangement so that the single arrangement can have the measurement of all these three kinds of high voltages. So thank you so much guys. This is what all about the spear gap and rod gap arrangement. Hope you understood. Take care. Bye bye.